Ciao a tutti, my name is Stefan and this week I'm gonna give away a few styles to create that nice moody and dark tone photo. Now, I have organized the video in two parts. In the first part, I'm just gonna show you a before and after of each style, so you can have a look at that. In the second part, I'm gonna give you a few super quick tips on how to improve your photo after your private style. But let's get straight into that. I hope you enjoyed these stars. They are five stars that I have organized in a folder and I show you here in the dark table interface. So let's get straight in. And if we go into the styles modules here on the right side of the light table view, you see these styles organized in the dark tones folder. And they are there's five of them that I show you into the before and after session. If you don't know how to install the styles into Darktable, I'm gonna put here a link to a video I did previously where you can find all the information. And now let me give you a few tips about how to use these styles and what to improve once we apply the style. The first tip I want to give you is to tick this little box for create a duplicate. And uh, in this way, when you apply a style, you create actually a duplicate of a photo and you can see a before and after. Let's do this on uh, this photo here that I did also in uh, the same place in Havana. I usually run trips to uh, Cuba for photography. I do it every year, but obviously I've not done it last year and not gonna do it this year too. If you're interested, uh, I'm gonna put a link where you can see the trip. If you go into this photo and you double click with a create duplicate tick, for example on Moody Green, Darktable is going to create a duplicate of this photo with a Moody Green uh, style applied to this photo. So it's very, very handy. And obviously if you don't like it, you can always select it and go there and say trash. Just a quick interruption to say that finally I've organized a tutorial hub for Dark Table where you can find of course plenty of tutorials and videos on how to better edit a photo with Dark Table. It's all free, I don't ask for your email. I'm gonna put a link down here and in the video description below. And now let's get back to the video. The other thing I want to tell you is to select the best mode here. I usually work on Overbright. In this way, if you have a photo where you already apply a few of the modules that I are into this stance, so they're gonna be overwritten and they're not gonna take any of the change you had done already to the photo. Don't worry, you're not gonna lose that because anyway you're gonna create a duplicate of this photo. The third thing I want to tell you is that when you apply this module you're gonna probably dark up everything including the subject and uh, sometimes you don't want to do that you want to keep a little bit more uh, with a correct expose of a subject but the background a little bit darker. I'll give you an example on this photo here. You can see here in the history stack the modules that I've used uh, for the style from the basic adjustment to the color balance. Now you see that once I do that, uh, let's go back to orientation here, the face is nicely exposed here, but once I apply this style, obviously it's a bit too dark. But what you can do here is to add an exposure module to take out more of the details into the face. So I can go to the exposure module and I increase slightly the exposure just to take out some of the details on the face. And then I apply a drone and parametric mask. And if I do that, you know, I can easily take a circle, for example, and apply just the exposure only to this circle. But you see that when I do that, obviously, you have some of the borders here which are not spectacular and you're gonna expose also this side of the photo that you don't want. You want to expose only the face. And I can show you that also if I click on the display mask here below. But that's easy enough to just focus on the face with a parametric mask. So you take here the levels of the input level and you take them just to work on the dark part of the photo, which is the face in this case. You see how magically you go down to the face. 
but there's a little problem here where, where you apply the exposure module also to this part and what you could do in this case you, you can either draw your mask before here or an easy way to do it is to just use the brush and brush out what you don't need anymore let me do it quickly for you it's all done and then you go into the mask manager in the group and you go into the brush and you say the difference what it's gonna do here is gonna take out uh, the brush part from the circle mask very easily to do it and so effective and you don't spend much time instead of uh, drawing like crazy and go around the face and if you don't feel confident about mask I've done a video about how to use a drone and parametric mask with some little secrets in order to move quickly through that I guess the key point here is do not apply the style blindly and think that everything is perfect after that just think about what is your subject and after you apply the style highlight it putting maybe more exposure into it working more on the shadows you know trying to take the details out from your subject and I'll give you another example in a second photo here that I took again into the old part of Havana of this little boy that was into a barber shop and I love this photo but um, you know once you apply this time what's happening here is that um, uh, let me go down to the white balance so this is the photo after I apply the style and you see how the shop is so dark and these bars in the windows are becoming so whitish and that's not what you want what you want to do is to uh, add in this case exposure in order to take out the details back from the shop and if you see my exposure module it's very very simple I just apply the uh, exposure and I think almost one stop yeah 0 to 82 and then I use the parametric mask to work only on the inside and you see that if I don't apply the parametric mask the bars become awful and I show you the mask but once you use the parametric mask you can work inside the shop only and it works very very nicely and after I apply this exposure module you know I think these bars are still a little bit too bright and they take the attention out from my subject so what I do here I add another instance of the exposure module and uh, I try to dark up only this part the bars and first work on the exposure to see how dark I want them and then I'm gonna apply this change only to the bar so I think probably I go down almost to one stop and how do I apply the change only to the bars that's very easy because you remember that in the previous exposure model I apply the change only to the inside I'm gonna apply this change I'm gonna use the raster mask and uh, I'm gonna use the same mask that I used before in the exposure and I'm gonna toggle that so very easy to use the raster mask and uh, such an effective way and quick way actually to achieve your goals and that's pretty much it about this video i really hope you enjoy put a like subscribe to the channel that little bell ticket and uh, i see you in the next video about photography and dark table